What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to Stacks. So we got this chapter five problem here. We're given this, this uh, beam here. That's eight meters long. It's got a distributed load and it's got a moment being applied at B. And our goal is to find the support reaction today at B. So there's gonna be a lot of problems like this. So this is a pretty important problem to be able to solve. So let's go and solve it, right? So of course, first step to anything, let's draw our free body diagram. So let's move over to this diatron here. It's just a simple beam represented as A to B, eight meters long. So the first thing I like to do is we have this distributed load of 75 newtons per meter. We want to simplify that into one load, basically. One simple thing. Um, so we can think about that as a rectangle with a height of 75 newton meters, newtons per meter and a base of eight meters. So if we want to find the force, we can say that the force is equal to the 75 newtons per meter and then multiply it by its length of eight meters then the meters are going to cancel, and that's just going to give us 600 newtons. And because it's a rectangle, it's going to act at the center of the rectangle, which is going to be 8 meters in, or 4 meters in, I'm sorry. So it's going to act right at the center there, it's going to be 600 pounds. And we can say that it's, you know, 4 meters to it. Cool. So what other forces do we have? Well, we have our support reactions at A and B. So let's go ahead and look at A and B. So if we look at the photo, or the drawing here, a is a pin, and a pin has two reactions. A pin has an X and a Y reaction, so it can resist movement in the X and Y direction. So we'll label this A of Y. I'm gonna label it going upwards, uh, just kind of arbitrarily. Uh, you can kind of tell that that is probably gonna be holding the beam up, so I'm gonna draw it going up, because that's my assumption. And then A of X, I'm gonna draw going this direction. Uh, so I also kind of just drew it to the right arbitrarily. You could draw it to the left if you think it's going to the left. Uh, but basically, you'll get a negative answer instead of a positive answer, and that'll tell you, is it going the right or the wrong direction? So I'm just going to draw going to the right, because that's my guess. So those are two support reactions at A. It doesn't have any moment, because it's pin. Uh, pin does it support a moment. But B is a roller, and a roller only has one support reaction that has a Y reaction. So this is going to be B of Y. The reason the roller doesn't have an X direction is because you can imagine you could push that beam over it and it would not stomp it in the X direction, but it would keep it up from the ground. So there we go, and let's draw our moment to M2. The patient renewed meter moment that's being applied to the beam. Cool. So now it's just gotten to the map. So we're done our free body diagram, we got all our sport reactions. Let's count how many unknowns we have. We have one, two, three unknowns. So we have three equations, right? Some of the forces in the y, some of the forces in the x, and some of the moments. So those are three equations, three unknowns, we can solve for this. So let's start with the easiest one usually, some of the forces in the x. I usually recommend starting with this one. Some of the forces in the x is equal to zero, or at equilibrium, let's count the forces in the x direction. We have a of x, and that's the only force in the x direction, so set it equal to zero. And there we go, we find one of our support reactions. So let's do our next one. Uh, let's do, maybe, let's do some of the forces. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. If we do some of the forces in the y direction, we're gonna have two unknowns, right? If we have A of y and B of y, both forces acting in the y direction, and they're both unknown. So we're not gonna be able to solve it that way. So instead, we're gonna need to do a moment. So let's take some of the moments at B. Now you could do some of the moments at A, maybe you should try that and see if that gives you the same answer. But I'm going to do some of the moments at B because I think it'll be the easiest way to solve this. So, sum with the moments at B is equal to zero. So let's do the moments at B. So first of all, we have this moment acting on the beam, so we're going to have to add that. This one's going clockwise, so we're going to have to subtract that 800. So negative 800. Next, we have the 600-pound force. This is causing a moment because it's a distance of four meters away from B. So it's making us want to rotate. Right, it's pushing here. If we're thinking about the moment at B, Making this one to rotate counterclockwise around B, and so we're gonna have to add the 600 pounds times its distance away, which is four meters from B. Now A of X is acting only uh, like facing towards B, so if you think about the equation for moment, uh, it's gonna have no moment around B. It's not gonna cause any rotation, so A of X, even though it's zero also, so of course it's not gonna cause a moment, but we don't even have to worry about it. Now, A of Y is pushing up, and this is going to make us want to rotate clockwise, right? This is making us rotate clockwise around B. If you think about this, the force pushing you this way. So we're going to have to subtract A of Y. So we're going to subtract A of Y times its distance, which is in the full 8 meters. And those are all of our forces, so all of our moments are accounted for. Now, so we set it equal to zero. 
So let's do the math here. We have negative 800 plus 1200. So this is gonna turn into 1600 minus a of y is equal to a y times eight. So of course we could add this a of y to the other side and I'll get rid of the subtraction and make it 1600 is equal to a of y times eight. Then we could divide by eight, we're just gonna get that a of y is equal to 200 pounds, or 200 newtons, sorry. There we go, so that's how you do the math to get a of y. Now b of y is gonna be the easiest one next. We just have to sum the forces in the y direction. Right now that we know one of these unknowns, we can solve the other ones really easily. So it's going to be a of y minus 600 plus b of y is equal to zero. Right, those are it. a of y is pushing up, 600 pounds pushing down, b of y is pushing up. The moment doesn't count in the sum of the forces, and this a of x is not in the y direction. So we can count in that 200 for the a of y, so 200 minus 600 is equal to negative b of y, subtract the b of y to the other side. Now we can move it to the other side to get negative 200 plus 600. Of course, we'll find that b of y is equal to 400 newtons. There we go. To the face of this problem. All right, not too tricky, not too bad. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you need more support on chapter five problems, I have a whole bunch of them on my channel. I have a playlist that showed up earlier. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.